are stuck with technology and now when what we really want is just stuff that works well by the way today i'm here to show you pretty interesting kind of stuff focused on android settings which i think you should know in 2018 to make your smartphone experience better So this problem might be a big issue with most of you guys that if your phone lags or it's running slowly then what to do Well don't worry here's a solution for you but before that go to about section and type the build version for 6 to 7 times where you need to enable the developer options so just go to developer options in settings and turn this three options from 1x animation scale to 5x animation scale then you'll actually be able to find the difference between before and after in performance of your phone Up next here is for those you who are using the Google's own Gboot keyboard app. I have one settings for you. As if though this is considered as the fastest keyboard and also has the best text protector engine. So, if you just go on to keyboard settings, toggle that button which allows the number row to display on top of the keyboard. And believe me, not only it'll save your time but also feel super comfortable while switching between text and numbers. Well, as if we are talking about the Google's keyboard, next one we got in our list is Google Translate. So, as soon as if you install Google Translate, which is 100% free from Google Play Store, then anytime you want something translate, you can do it natively. You simply select and copy the text which needs translating, then hit that logo which pops up, and that's it. The translated word will just appear right into that box. Pretty useful application. Try this. Now, this is something literally every Android user should be using, but I think very few actually do. So once when you turn it on from quick settings then see the recent apps on that you can get to see a small pin smash that option and the screen will be pinned but between that you can switch to another application and to unpin just long press that option which shows before you pin Next we got force four times msaa so if you are an android gamer like me then you might probably noticed while playing some high graphics games it lags a bit well if so then don't worry get into developer options where you can find this feature turn this on and start playing your game to be honest i don't know how this feature works but once when you toggle that button you'll get the experience of smoothest game ever well playing games will actually drain battery life much faster and as i said if you're a gamer like me then charging is the only problem which we need to face a lot but now there's even a smart solution for such people like you and me So, if you enable flight mode while charging, this increases double times your charging speed, and you can easily be able to get rid of charging your phone again and again. But before that, if you wish to keep track of your battery life, then here we got energy bar. It adds a visual indicates to your battery life onto your status bar. Even it overlays on top of any application, like if you're watching YouTube videos or while playing games, you can have that bar all the time in order to track the battery life. Also you can disable it in full screen application but it's up to you so give it a try link to that is given below in the description and once when you get into it you can understand all its functions right from its name so the next one is a gesture for the people who have reading difficulties it helps them a lot to zoom into any web pages so after when you turn this feature on in the accessibility sections you can actually zoom in 3 times no matter what application you are in simply triple tap your screen and you will get more deeper into it also in camera applications you can see more details that what's actually you are going to capture well another useful feature you need to check in accessibility is color invert do you know how much the regular white web page can hurt your eyes when you open it up In this case, turn this feature on, which will help you a lot to read any web pages at night times. Last one here is really useful, and I think it's worth mentioning. So, head over to Play Store and hit Settings there to disable these two features. First, turn off the auto update, and then disable Add icon to home screen, which not only helps you to manage your space manually by letting you to update the required apps, but also it won't mess up with your home screen setup. So that's it guys I really hope you enjoyed this video well if so then make sure to smash that subscribe button cause it will really help me out well it's d androids and i'm signing out